A very happy new year to everyone. Like the start of every new year, it's a perfect time to plan big projects and set ambitious goals. And if you've been thinking about adding solar power to your home, I believe there's no better time to do that. And in this video, I'm going to explain why. Hi there, I'm Gary and welcome back to my channel, Gary Does Solar. It's just amazing how advanced and how cheap solar panel technology is today. This is one of the latest solar panels available. It's a Neostar panel from ICO, one of the world's leading manufacturers. It's about 1.75 by 1.1 meters in size and it can generate 455 watts under ideal conditions. What amazes me is that this panel costs less than 60 pounds excluding VAT in the UK. That's roughly four to six times cheaper than a panel with the same capability just a few years ago. Now 455 watts is enough to power your internet router, TV, refrigerator and house lighting all at once. And if you had say 10 of them on your roof, together they could generate four and a half kilowatts, which is enough to power all manner of heavy electrical appliances, such as ovens, hobs, washing machines and vacuum cleaners. Of course, the sun doesn't shine all the time, so if you also have a home battery as part of your setup, you can store everything you don't use for later. If you live in the Northern Hemisphere, this is what you can expect to generate in each month with those 10 ICO panels on a south-facing roof. In the winter months, those 10 panels will generate around 180 kilowatt hours per month. But in the summer, generation increases significantly to around 580 kilowatt hours per month. Remember here, instead of power measured in kilowatts, we're talking about energy generated over time measured in kilowatt hours. These units can get a little confusing for some, so I've put a link in the description to this video that I've made explaining the difference between the two. Over the year, this generation totals to just over 4,500 kilowatt hours, which if you're on the right energy tariff will significantly reduce your energy bills and in many cases right down to zero. So I guess the question is, does it make sense to get solar now or wait a few years? Well, if you want to get solar primarily for environmental reasons, then honestly, now is always a good time to make the switch. But I suspect for most people, the cost of getting a solar installation is a big deal. And the last thing you want to do is make an investment only to see prices drop a few months later. With solar panels, for example, could that £60 reduce to £30 soon? I expect it will, but here's the thing, the cost of the solar panels is now only a small proportion of the overall cost of your installation. And even if panel prices were to half from today, it might only shave a few percent of the overall price. In the meantime, you'd miss out on all the energy savings that you could have enjoyed right away. And if you go ahead with your installation this year, those savings could mean your investment pays for itself in just five or six years. Okay, so if this is the year for you to get your solar installation, when is the best time of year to do it? Going back to this chart then, you could start later in the year, but by then you may have missed the best of the sunshine. That's okay though, there'll be plenty more summers. But really, you want to have your installation in place in order to enjoy all the generation for this summer. And so it makes perfect sense to start planning for that in January. In other words, today. Now when it comes to how many solar panels you can fit on your roof and where to place them, if you live in the northern hemisphere, a south facing roof is best. However, even if your roof faces east and west, placing panels on both sides can still generate a similar amount of energy overall. And if you have a large amount of space on a north facing roof, the small extra cost to install panels there as well can be worthwhile as it adds to your overall generation. I talk more on that in this video here, and again, the link is in the description. There's an online tool available called PV GIS, which can help you calculate the expected monthly and annual generation for a proposed solar installation on your property. It's not the most user-friendly interface, but I have made this video here to help guide you. Now you might also want a home battery. That allows you to store excess solar energy that you can't use immediately, making it available for later. Additionally, it opens up access to more smart energy tariffs, all of which will help you optimize your energy use further. And during the winter months, you can even charge your battery overnight with cheap electricity, which will save you money on your daytime usage. And if your battery includes EPS or emergency power supply capability, it can power your home should there ever be an outage. The PV GIS tool is great for modeling solar generation, 
but it can't help you with other factors like the impact of having a home battery, using different energy tariffs, and even your daily energy use patterns. And you might want a more detailed analysis before making a decision. For those in the UK with a south facing roof then, I've created a free utility that lets you model all of these aspects. And for those living outside the UK, or if you'd like to model multiple roof orientations at the same time, I've developed a more advanced version here. It's available through my Patreon, which I've intentionally kept low cost to make it as accessible as possible. I've placed links to both the utilities in the description, and you can also access them here from the Gary Does Solar homepage. And if you need it, I also offer a chat with Gary service, where I can help you plan your solar installation or answer any questions you might have. I firmly believe there's never been a better time to get into solar, not just this year, but this month. There are plenty of videos available on YouTube to get you started, including these introductory ones on my own channel here. And when dealing with solar installers, I always recommend you reach out to more than one, not least to get a better idea on what price you should be paying. But don't just go for the cheapest quote, you're far better off going with the best installer, and they won't always be the cheapest. Feel free to watch this video I made here on how to choose a good installer. This is actually the reason my YouTube channel exists. These videos are there to help you make informed decisions on your solar journey. Another important aspect is choosing the right smart tariff to go on. This can really make a difference to your financial payback period if that's important to you. Now many energy providers are starting to offer multiple smart tariffs depending on whether you have solar, battery, EV, heat pump, etc. And if you're living in the UK, the only energy provider I recommend is Octopus Energy. They're the best as far as I'm concerned. And if you switch to them using my referral code here, not only will you get £50, you'll be helping support my work as I'll also receive £50. I wish you the very best in 2025 and a huge thank you to all my Patreon members, including those here on the terawatt and gigawatt tiers. I'll be making a lot of videos this year on many important topics, so please like and subscribe to see them all. Cheers for now.